Hi there, I'm Richard Brindley Marshall, and I've just created the range of napkins called Out Damn Spot. Um, I came up with the idea because I've seen a lot of different napkins that are currently out there, and they're either really like plain and simple, or really like overly ornate and like kind of lots of really complicated embroidery. So I wanted to kind of do something that was a bit jarring. So I chose like a really crisp white napkin, and then got stains embroidered onto them, kind of like the idea of when initials would have been embroidered onto them. So it's kind of like a new take on it, and it's quite funny to have a stain already embroidered onto a napkin. I think it's so inspiring because creativity in a different way, and I think it's just such a fun way to express yourself. And I actually started with doing like kind of set design as well, so that's another skill to kind of do, and it's something that you have a lot more fun. Kind of costume design is a lot much more exuberant and exciting as well, um, and a chance to really experiment different things that are just going to be used on a stage. So in design, I really try to keep that creativity and still create effects and give like an audience emotion in a way so it's like the person um, that's going to see my product, what's their reaction, how do they interact with it, kind of like a set piece as well. As such, I get to do so many different things. I'm working on store interiors, store branding, packaging, marketing, social media. I'm really kind of encompassing all different things in the job I'm in at the moment. But I think ideally, I'd just love to almost set up my own, maybe I don't want to design consultancy, but own design brand and kind of make it bigger to kind of do things such as products and interiors. And kind of, well, I just love the arts as well. So something, if I can get performance or theatre in there as well, I would just love it so much as well. So everything, I do love to do everything. It has been picked up so much and really well. And I think it's a really good tool for designers and creatives to really get instant kind of feedback as well from people, but then also kind of explore the uses of it. Because I think Twitter was set up like a long time like oh, a few years ago, and even the way that it's evolved over the years and how it's being used, I think it's so interesting. I think it's so important because it almost opens it up to the whole market because almost everyone now uses social media and is in some way connected to it. So I think it's a great platform for new designers as well to kind of be up there next to established designers and kind of promote their stuff and get word of mouth and make things almost like guerrilla marketing as well, like things get out there a lot quicker these days. So I think it's really wonderful and it gives people that are just early off in their career a really great start and different ways that they can use their creativity, not necessarily in design, but in blogging and all these other Twittering, Facebooking, just using all these different media. Yeah, I think definitely in the last few years as well, independent design is something that's so celebrated. And that's some of the most exciting things that I've got to see is all the degree shows and new designers. Um, I think they're just amazing hubs of creativity and you just see so many inspiring things and so many inspiring people that are so passionate about their work. And I think that's what's so exciting about design, that these people are getting this platform and they're getting seen nowadays. It's wonderful. Okay, well, my favourite item is I've actually got quite an obsession with clocks, and I think that's something that's great because so many designers and famous designers and new designers do tackle clocks, and I find them so interesting. And like clocks and watches, and the things like they're not even something they sell. I don't even use a watch, but I love watches so much that so I collect them. And same with clocks in the wall. You can only really have one clock in a room, but I see so many ones that are so exciting. And I think it's just such a standard thing that if you can make a clock really exciting and inspirational. I think that's really wonderful and it's a good test for a designer as well.